Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another plan with me. This week I'm using a full kit from Wild Sunshine Co. Um, it is her succulent themed kit and it is absolutely gorgeous as I'm sure you can tell. Um, I recently ordered a few stickers from her if you saw my latest uh, sticker haul. Um, so I start off by putting down the bottom washi and uh, this week I decided to go with a more traditional uh, plan with me style with the to do's all along the bottom because I'm going to attempt to color block again so you'll see how that goes um, so I'm just alternating the colors as they're listed on the sheet by putting down the to do headers and then the heart checklists and I will not be filling all of these out during the video uh, you'll have to check my Instagram for that because I just find when I do more traditional plan with me's like this, it's easier to fill in the to-dos as I go throughout the week. After I put down all of the to-dos, I start off on the sidebar by putting down the uh, quote box uh, along the top. And I have a bit of trouble adjusting it to make sure it's straight, um, as usual. Underneath that, I put down a pink and brown habit tracker, which I think hers are very unique. I've never seen habit trackers like that. And I, f I feel like it's hard to be unique with habit trackers or little things and whatnot. Um, so I appreciate that Wild Sunshine Co. has their own style. And I think it's pretty cool. Uh, next, I go in and coordinate the little thing dinner along the bottom to match the to-dos. And then I use two pink strips of washi to layer behind the weekend banner, which is kiss cut and be beautiful. I wish my cursive looked like that. Now I'm going to go through and try and match up the full boxes with the colors I've put down along the bottom. Um, and I'm just staggering them haphazardly. Um, the main goal for me in this new vertical neutral planner is making sure that I don't show the spaces, the lines, in between each box, if that makes sense. So, as long as I can hide those, I'm happy with it. Um, so there's really no rhyme or reason to where I place those full boxes. It's kind of just making sure that it's not too top heavy or bottom heavy. Once I finish with the full boxes, I start putting in some stickers for uh, things that are actually happening this week. Um, so I thought it made sense to put the Butt First Coffee sticker on Monday, because most people hate Mondays, myself included. Underneath that, I use a glitter flag to mark that I'm planning meals, which is my routine on Mondays. Um, and then I skip all the way to the end of the week and put down that I want to watch Game of Thrones and Rick and Morty on the 30th. Um, is anyone else excited about Rick and Morty coming back? Um, I know I am. It's been too long. On the 27th, I put down that I had a bill due, and I made sure to layer that on the top, and then put a glitter flag underneath it, which I will eventually write work on. On the 28th, I put the Atomic Blonde is coming out, which looks pretty cool. Um, she kicks ass and does her own stunts, uh, the main actress, so I can appreciate that. Uh, so, I might go see it. Just because I put it in my planner doesn't guarantee I will. It depends on how expensive tickets are. Um, I put, on the 25th, I put a uh, film plan with me in a quarter box. And started to put in some half boxes by color coordinating them throughout the week. And since there was a bit of extra space on the 26th, I put down a today header at the top. Um, I don't find today headers should be very necessary because obviously it's today. Uh, so, but I put them in to fill in some space and because they were in the kit. On the 28th, I decided to, um, instead of using a quarter box along with that half box because I felt they were too matchy-matchy, I put down that squiggle line that kind of reminds me of Charlie Brown's shirt. <laughs> and I will end up layering a sticker on top of that. On the 29th, I put down a glitter flag to mark work and a scalloped quarter box on top of that. On the 25th, I put down a like kind of like a half glitter flag to uh, 
point to the Plan With Me sticker. Uh, I think I'll end up writing work on that. I don't remember. Um, and on top of the squiggly lines, I put buy all the stickers on $2 Tuesday because, of course, it's when all the best deals are. And then on Friday, I put the, I had a payday. So Now I'm going back in and actually writing on the paper, which is always kind of weird <laughs> instead of writing on stickers, to mark that I'm going to Kroger which is my grocery of choice because it is literally within walking distance of my house. So Next I move back to the sidebar to put down um, some patterned washi underneath a goals header and I'm going to mark write down goals for every day of the week since I already put the uh, meals along the, the week itself. Underneath that I used some more of that matching patterned washi to um, layer underneath a next week header to mark that I have a dentist appointment next week. Um, normally I don't write anything that's going to happen the following week because I can just look at it. Um, but I need to mentally prepare myself for this, this uh, dentist visit. I am terrified of the dentist and I've had to go about once a month for the past four months and it's just been miserable. And frequent visiting has not helped that at all. He's a nice dude, but it still sucks. So I'm now going in and putting down some deco. I put a heart underneath the half box on the, ha the sidebar. And since this kit didn't come with date covers, I'm putting some deco along the top just to fill in the empty space. I really need to stock up on more generic date covers from ColourPop Paper once they reopen because those are my fave. Now I'm just trying to add some contrast to the color blocking with the different deco. Yep, just filling in a few more things um, that I need to take better care of my teeth. Of course, that's why I'm going to the dentist and um, doing some neck stretches because I have chronic neck pain and if I don't stretch it every like 30 minutes, since I work on the computer, my head stays still a lot looking at the computer. Um, so if I don't stretch it, it gets really stiff um, and I feel like a 70 year old, which I am not yet. <laughs> uh, now I'm just going in and marking some more work and using some color coordinated laptops in the kit because I don't really know what else to use them for. <laughs> um, next I'm going through my fox and cactus stash to pick out a little hamster laptop. It could also be a guinea pig. I don't remember. Um, neither are as big as a laptop so you could go either way with that. And then I used a beloved Mona on Sunday to mark that I had to submit my invoice for work. Um, she's my fave from Bubba Bear Studios. I really connect with her on a deep level. And then I got this really cute kitty with that's hugging an avocado. And I thought it'd make, it'd make kind of sense to use it for planning meals because I don't eat avocados. But it was just too cute to not get. Um, and that is from Wild Sunshine. And uh, that little laptop on the 29th is from Hello Petite Paper. So guys, that's my completed spread. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.